Hey guys, guys, how are you doing? Uh, so uh, this review is about a gigabit PoA injector I recently got. It's it's an injector as well as uh, something called what they call a splitty splitter, which is a which is a receiver. Uh, the reason I got this is because I have a router which is doesn't have any accessible power port. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm uh, sending the power to the router using this particular injector, and then the splitter or rather receiver is placed next to the router, which receives the power via an ethernet cable and uh, uh, you know there, there's, a, there's, there's a there's a dc power uh, uh, wire which can, can be put into the router i'll just show you brief details or rather a brief diagram we'll keep the splitter aside and just look at the injector so as you can see what happens here is so actually let me show you the other one normally typically you can use it in this fashion also so you basically have a router you have a switch and then you have a a, a poe injector so what this does is uh, the, the injector is connected to a power source as you can see here okay and you have one ethernet cable going to the switch and you have the other ethernet cable going to either of the three poe uh, devices which can be your ip phone uh, access point or a poe ip Since, camera uh, between uh, this particular uh, uh, poe uh, unit and other units is that it supports gigabit ethernet so that's something very important you need to uh, uh, you know, when when selecting this type of product, you need to decide whether you want a, you know, standard 10 slash 100 or you want to go in for a gigabit Ethernet, which is 10 slash 100 slash 1000. That depends on the internet speed that you have. So if you have more than 100 Mbps, like 100 Mbps or above, then this is what's recommended so that you get optimum optimum internet speeds uh, across all your devices or other devices connected to this particular unit. So, um, yeah, as you can see, this is a quick snippet of, uh, you know, some of the features it has auto detection as far as uh, power supply is concerned at this at the, at the target, it, it can go up to a maximum of 100 meters and uh, also has auto negotiation. So you don't need to use, you can use either straight, straight cable or a cross cable. Uh, most devices are now auto MDI, MDIX is what they call it. Um, Talking about the splitter, so this is what I, what I would call in, lay, in layman language as the receiver. So uh, what in our case, we, we would be having this particular device, which is the injector, which I just showed you, that's connected to a power source. From the injector, it, it, there's an ethernet cable that goes into this particular device, which can be placed maybe in the other room. And uh, from here, we would have one, cab one cable going into the LAN port and there'll be a separate power uh, cable going into the router or access point uh, so 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 that you can power the access point uh, via an ethernet uh, you know via this ethernet cable that's coming here so basically the power is flowing through this particular ethernet cable that's connected between the poe injector and the splitter and at this end so basically the splitter needs to be placed somewhere close to the router because the dc out needs to come into the uh, access point or router uh, similarly, the LAN cable will come from this POE splitter into the access point or router. So this cable would basically have data plus uh, power. Uh, not much to talk about. Uh, this, this uh, okay? Yeah. So basically, it supports 12, 9, and 5 volt DC. You can see it's triple output adapt. So we can be there's a switch. So you just use a switch and toggle across the different uh, you know modes, which are whatever output you would like to select. Uh, that's how it works. I'll, I'll let's open it and see, uh, you know, what what else exists in the in the box. So let's start with opening this the the injector first. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I've not got myself a unboxing scissor. So I'll just make do with this one. So let's see what this comes with. Uh, so it says package contains gigabit POE injector. This is the model number TLPOE one five zero S. Power adapter, RJ forty five cable installation guide. So you can see the installation guide. We don't really need to look into this, but I can just show it to you. Very detailed, very nicely packed. PP Link always does a good job. I'm quite happy with all their products. In fact, uh, I've got access points. I've got routers. I've got repeaters. So here you can see so this is only the injector so basically you would have a power adapter that's connected to the injector as an input and you'd have one LAN cable that also goes as a LAN in and then the output from this goes either into an IP camera an access point or an IP phone now these three devices are PoE devices so they support power over Ethernet 
so that's the difference now in the case of the splitter uh, let's go directly here this would be easy to understand so uh, what would happen here is we have the injector and we have the splitter so this the injector is somewhere close to where the you know the router is uh, where, where your internet connection is coming in and the splitter can be somewhere in your bedroom let's say for example that's where your access where your access point is so here uh, as i uh, uh, you know explained earlier the power socket this power adapter would be connected to the uh, DC, to the power unit here to this uh, injector as the input and lan in would go into this from the router from your router to your lan in uh, similarly on the other side of the injector there'll be a cable there'll be a lan out with poe out so that goes and comes in and comes into this particular poe splitter as a poe as a, as an inlet so i'll show you i'll show you the labeling on this but i'm not look for the labeling they have but this is i'm just giving you a rough idea on how the diagram what the diagram looks like uh, then here this is what what will be in your bedroom so you'll have a lan out which goes into the uh, into your access point and you'll have a dc out which goes into the power supply of the access point so basically this poe this cable here uh, carries the data plus your power um, so this the splitter also has a switch way wherein you can uh, select between 12 volt 9 volt and 5 volt uh, basically the required voltage for non poe devices uh, talking about if you're looking only at a splitter option then uh, i'll just this this is a splitter only option so if you have a something like a poe switch that's what they claim here you can and you have a non uh, poe supported device like a like a router so from here you can get a uh, the the uh, the the power from the uh, switch itself straight into this particular splitter and you would get uh, the output of dc output into the access point and lan out uh, which comes into the access point as well so you can use it in two different modes uh, poe injector only poe splitter only or poe injector split i'll put a, i'll put a scan of this document so uh, you guys can read through it in case you'd have, you want more details uh, this is the power okay, here so here we have the we have the uh, the details on the injector so basically you have a lan in this is the injector so you'll have the lan in from the router and you'd have the DC uh, 48 volt which will power up this injector and send power. Uh, on the other side of this you'd, ha you'd probably have a, a, a POE out. So that comes straight here. So you know I can probably better explain more details on how things are connected. So this is the adapter that came with the injector. This is the injector so you can see a LAN in. DC 48 volt this is the adapter that's used to power this injector and you'll have a power plus data out so this is what goes to the splitter so let's say this is next to your router wherever your internet source is so say for example you have a BSNL or Tata or Reliance or any of these other routers your standard ethernet router you'd be placing this this in that particular rack or area where the router is so what would happen is this particular power source would go into this device here you'd have a lan in that comes from this 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 lan in is basically would basically go to your router and you'd have this switch this particular port this is the power plus data out this would go to the splitter so let me just connect the splitter ah. We'll just open the splitter box now and then see what's inside this. I call it the receiver because it's easier to understand a splitter. I'm not sure if that's the right term, but anyway, we'll stick to what they've what they've defined. But just so that you understand, uh, it's basically a receiver for the power and the data, which you would be placing next to a non-POE device. So let's see what comes in this. Pretty much the packing is excellent. I really love their packing. I think it's pretty much the same guide that they've given here as well. I'm guessing it's the same documentation. Yeah, it's the same documentation. So I'll scan this and put this up so that it's, you're able to see this. So they've given a power. They, so what? So the key difference is in the injector, they give you a adapter which powers up the injector and sends power across, uh, and, you know, via the Ethernet cable to this particular uh, receiver or splitter. And let me open this.
here what you see is you'll see a DC out and I'm not sure if that's clear and a LAN out yeah so you'll see a DC out and a LAN out and you see a power plus data in so let me just connect everything together so you get an idea of what I'm talking about so I try to get everything within a single frame. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to connect this live so that uh, you know it's easier for you to understand. Otherwise, it will be too complicated with the setup I have. So let's split it up again. So this is the injector. This is going to be connected next to your internet router. Okay. Uh, there's, go there's going to be a power supply that's required for this particular device. So this particular port says LAN in. Okay. So this will go from your out. Uh, so basically the cable from your router will go into this LAN in port. Okay. And this will be again next to your router. There's another port here on the other side. It says power plus data out. If you can read that here, it says power plus data out. So this cable, it can be either a long cable. Uh, basically the standard ethernet uh, measure technology says that it cannot go beyond 90 meters. That's the standard. So, um, I mean, you can have the, the length of this cable up to, uh, you know, say 90, 90 meters is what I would recommend. Um, so what would happen is this is now the receiver or rather the splitter from TP-Link. So power would go, power along with data would go via this cable and come into this receiver splitter. So now we'll talk about the splitter and receiver. Uh, so here you can see there's, let me just get the focus right. There's power plus data in. There's a switch here, okay? So I can toggle between 12 volt, 9 volt, and 5 volt. Most devices, if you go to, if you look at routers and access points and stuff, they're all uh, 12 volt. So, I mean, if you're talking about IP cameras, then, then that's different, IP cameras and IP phones. Uh, and here you, you'd see a, a LAN, I think it says LAN out, yeah, LAN out, and this is a DC out. So what would happen is this other end would go into your, uh, access point and this particular the, to the ethernet port of the access point and this would go into the uh, power port of the of the access point so you can power up your access point without any additional switch required next to the access point so yeah, it's pretty it's pretty easy to use there's no additional there's no there's, you don't really need to be uh, tech savvy to be using this uh, uh, the you can just make use of this the only thing is you need to use make use of a combination of both if you don't have a poe switch but if you do have a PO switch, then you only need the splitter. However, if you don't, I repeat, you may need to buy both these products. Uh, the prices and the links are given in the description uh, below. So you'll be able to get an idea of where to buy these from. And uh, they come with a standard three year warranty. So that's brilliant. That's the, uh, and uh, you know, just to share with you, um, the, the, I, I have had uh, repeaters, which I've been using for three, for almost three years, a uh, little less than three years and uh, two of them blew up and i i sent them back rather they just stopped working so i sent them to the tp link server center via courier and believe it or not within a week's time i got a, a complete new replacement of all these devices that, that is the both the both the tp link repeaters so i was quite impressed with the with the support and service that tp link offers uh, vis a vis all the other uh, you know um, uh, uh, providers or other or vendors that uh, supply the similar kind of products um, talking about the cost so, so yeah, it's around uh, it's around uh, thousand rupees per device. I think yeah, we paid roughly around two thousand rupees for both the devices. Uh, very price effective versus everyone else in the market. But I repeat, make sure that you buy gigabit gigabit um, uh, you know TP uh, Link power power uh, PoE adapters or other PoE injectors and splitters so that uh, you know you can use it uh, for the years to come. Otherwise, typically with the way the internet is going, the speeds are increasing. So you can uh, future proof your, uh, you know, your network uh, with a 10 slash 100 slash 1000 uh, if and when your speed does increase uh, rather than going and, you know, switching from uh, 10 slash 100 devices to 10 slash 100 slash 1000. So these are gigabit, make sure you buy gigabit, uh, uh, you know, PoE adapters, PoE uh, injectors and splitters only. Uh, if you have any further questions, you can always uh, uh, leave me a message. Uh, via YouTube or Instagram uh, my uh, links are in the description below uh, any questions uh, are always welcome please give this video a like and uh, subscribe to this channel for more reviews that I would be putting up thanks for watching take care